Well, today we have done something absolutely amazing. Um, I haven't really done any like sort of update videos on really anything because I'm, I just kind of recently decided, hey, you know what? On my alternate account, I have decided to go get Prif with one of my IRL friends who is just starting to get back into playing. I've really done pretty much no quests on this account, so I mean, uh, as of late I've been doing war bands for mining and stuff, getting pretty close to that, construction, prayer on the next, um, whatchamacallit, aura, illumination, illuminati, um, but, uh, something happened on my most recent war bands run, which, uh, as you can see, I have my war bands gear right here, the dark bow, 16 arachside arrows, and a team 8 cape, just don't ask. Anyway, so I'm one of those noobs that hops around the uh, Dark Warriors Fortress and just tries to find an empty world. Well, guess what? I did not find an empty world. That being said, there was this one random guy that said, Hey, you know what? I'm going to attack you. And what did that guy do? He attacked me. So, what else was I going to do but, you know, sit there and just kind of attack? And, well, to be completely honest, tanking a person in the wilderness is vastly similar to tanking Yaka, which... If I do say so myself, I am rather experienced at. And long story short, I vastly outlasted him. Granted, I did have seven sharks, but, you know, I still, or no, I had seven sharks left? No. What was it? I had like, yeah, I had like a third of a yak and then some in my inventory. Anyhow, well, so, as you can see by the loot in my inventory, yes, I did manage to PK someone. And let me just tell you, it is a wonderful thing to have reflect, snipe, and then just sort of bang them out with the whole rapid fire thing, you know, all your DPS abilities with your dark bow. Now, here's something I really wasn't expecting. Evidently, I smited him. And what is this? That is a Dragon Rider Lance. Okay, so what have we learned today? Evidently, the wilderness is a very scary place unless you have a dark bow. Um. So yeah, uh, this this in my inventory is what I PK'd, and I, I'm i still not entirely sure how I did this, but you know what, that's cool. Um, whatever. Uh, 10 out of 10 would do again, you know, the whole PKing 30 mil thing, but we're going to do a quick little price check on all the stuff that we got. And uh, I got to repair the Dragon Rider Lance, which, honestly, I kind of feel bad for the guy. It literally, he seemed to have used it for... 5.9%, which probably was all in the wilderness from attacking similar noobs. Um, but yeah, so we're going to repair this and we're going to do a little price checky. And yeah, yeah, 48k to fix that. Look at that. That is incredible. And let's examine. Oh my goodness gracious. That is 26.3 mil. But that is not where we are stopping because we are going to run to the GE at this exact moment and we are going to sell it because today on this fine day because of all the updates of greatness we have lances on the rise so hopefully we should get a little more out of it um but yeah so what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to basically sell all the stuff that I got and I'm just going to take it into the bank and we're gonna see how much GP we have from this which I think will be pretty interesting to see because I literally went in trying to find mining supplies and came out with a Dragon Rider Lance and various other things and evidently a PK, so that's cool. Uh, do we have coins in here? We do not. Ooh, a Ring of Recoil. I should bring that next time I go PKing. <laughs> Alrighty. So, first, the Dragon Rider Lance instant- oh my gosh. Instant souls for 28.3. I will take that. That's two mil over mid. We also got a warrior ring. Don't really care about that. Uh, obviously, this is a rock shell plate, which evidently has zero defense to a dark bow. Um, we have this rock shell helm. Nobody wants that. Rock shell gloves. Probably no one wants that either. Uh, rock shell legs, blah blah blah. This is probably getting to be pretty boring, but uh, I do think you guys should stay tuned because this is totally going to be an awesome video. You're gonna see this in the end, by the way. Um, so we have the rock shell boots, and those sell for something. This will probably never sell, so we're just going to sell that for even less somehow. 
Um, in case you guys were wondering, how much exactly was I risking? However much this super prayer renewal potion is worth. Because he skulled on me. I wasn't even skulled yet. I was late to warband, so I didn't even have a chance to loot a camp. So that is absolutely wonderful. Um, okay, so I'm not even going to include the vengeance runes because, well, quite frankly, why was a guy in EOC bringing vengeance runes? Don't ask. Nobody knows. Alrighty, so how much did we make, fellas? Let's examine this. Okay, 28.5 mil PK. That is fantastic. Given the fact that I literally have never PK'd in my life, uh, aside from that time that I tried to do it, like, a long time ago, and that guy in DH just totally specked me out with the axe thing on the bob. Yeah, that's really, really good. Okay, now, on a completely different subject, uh, I would like to talk to you guys about a series that I am doing. And, uh... Um, yeah, so I just want to talk to you guys about that. Um... A while ago, and I really should have mentioned this a bit ago, should have made a video about this, just haven't really had the time, been seriously busy IRL and running clan and all that sort of thing, but uh, yeah, so I have a new series that I'd like to share with you all, and that series is, basically I'm keeping a raids loot tab. This account I pretty much only do raids on, um, I mean, I guess now I do warbands and PK lances, but... Aside from that, yeah, only raids. So I have a loot tab made entirely of raids things. Now, how long will I keep this loot tab up for? Well, I've kept it since I got my first helm. No. Maybe, somewhere around there. It was like eight or nine acto pieces in. So now we are finally on our last legs now. And then after that we will be on bodies. And I will be ending this series when one of two things happen. One, 15 out of 15 acto. Like, that will be totally cool, and that seems just like a fitting way to end a raid's loot tab series. Or two, when I run out of money for my grave. Now, I have been transferring money for skills for Prif, but that money does not factor in. And, according to what I had written down before this whole thing, because I was training before this, so don't worry, I have roughly 6.4 mil so 6.4 mil left to die with graves and all that stuff so now the moment we've all been waiting for the raids loot tab that's a lot of stuff and uh oh i did forget to mention the only thing that can replenish my cash stack are codexes however i'm kind of not so sure on if I want to sell this or not, but we'll kind of see where this goes. Um, but I'm just keeping it in there in case I have to sell it. This is roughly two or three months of raids, and this is an entirely raids account, and you may be saying, um, hey, that looks like it could be a Raxor as well. Well, let me just quick chat my Araxi for you. I have one. Yes, and I just did that because I wanted to. Um, now I'm just going to take all this out and we're going to price check this, fellas. Um, and we're just going to kind of see where we're at so far. This is a pretty big raids loot tab as far as I'm aware. I have not seen one bigger, but maybe people just don't care enough to post them. Um, but yeah, this, like I said, this account only does raids, so everything we have here is raids only. Um, so yeah, let's get to this price check. Um, and I'm going to make this uh, short and sweet, so we'll just put all this stuff on there pretty fast. There you have it, 250 mil. Uh, if we remove the codex, we're at, what, 234, something like that? So 234 mil solely from raids. That's pretty good for a daily, uh, I have to say. And then, of course, we have the uh, however much this amount of techie is worth, which is a lot of techie. Um, on JMO, I've actually just hit 100k, which is actually uh, pretty cool. I do say so myself. But, so, um, I, yeah, that's going to do it. Um, but I do want to take a quick survey from you guys. 
Should I run out of money from graves, because yes, I do help people with feats off loot, so if that sort of thing is going to happen, just, you know, that's how life works. But, should I get acto pieces, can I A, alk them, or, you know, kill myself in the wilderness for that, to replenish my gold, or my uh, GP supply for this? And uh, I want that sort of input from you guys on this sort of thing, so... Um, yeah, please let me know what you think should be the rules in this whole thing, but regardless, I cannot use this 46 mil that I have right here. That is for skills and skills alone. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. Um, I really wish I had that clip of PKing of some sorts uh, on video, but uh, I wasn't really thinking. I was kind of thinking, oh wow, there, there's a guy, I kind of thought he had just like a I don't know, like a Rune 2H or something. I've never actually seen a Lance, so all in all, just I was clueless. So yeah, that's that. Anyhow, um, thank you for watching, and if you did like what you saw here and want to see how this series ends up, please drop a like, subscribe, and give me comments on how you think I could improve what's going on here, and don't say talk less because I just talk a lot. So yeah, um, thanks.